Nigeria has a rich and bountiful food tradition, bustling with taste and variety that matches the varied and colorful culture of her people. As Africa's most populous country with a population of over 190 million, any enterprise that seeks to tap into the food and nutrition needs of Nigeria would have formidable impact on the agribusiness sector. In terms of the skill of the agriculture sector, Nigeria is roughly 24% of GDP. Um, over 60% of people in Nigeria are employed in some form or the other in the agriculture sector across the entire chain. Ace Foods, an indigenous Nigerian company, opened its doors on a mission to process, package and distribute nutritious and tasty food products made from the best of West Africa's fruits, herbs, vegetables and cereals. A large proportion of the food items on the stores are imported packaged food. And we wanted to do something about this because there's a huge opportunity. We have lots of farmers that grow food, produce food, and we thought that if we built a very robust local supply chain that we could actually feed in and provide products that uh, go to this market. We had very limited equipment and very limited capital remaining to really do any substantive investment and very limited working capital. So with AECF's um, uh, provision of grant funding, it gave us more flexibility to do a lot more. This meant the company dramatically grew its volumes and market share by operationalizing its factory, installing higher capacity equipment and adding sterilization capabilities which has enabled it to supply to a broader range of more sophisticated customers. By making the choice to source their raw ingredients from Nigerian smallholder farmers, Ace Foods would not only improve their livelihoods, but also encourage change by inspiring other players in the market to source locally in Nigeria. Before, our children, if they finish the primary school, they will stay at home because there is no money. But when I joined these chili pepper uh, cooperatives, now even my children, one is now in ABU because of the profit that I get. ACE interventions go beyond buying produce. They also provide inputs and give advice to farmers on how to produce higher and better returns. We want to understand the gaps that were evident last season so that we can figure out ways we can mitigate those gaps for us to have a better planting season. Ace Foods established early partnerships with farming cooperatives and is committed to purchasing specified volumes from smallholder farmers that they support. The intervention of Ace Food now, we have access to a better market price. These partnerships are giving farmers better market information, informing their planning and marketing processes and enhancing the predictability of their sales. In addition, by eliminating middlemen, it is aiding the incremental household income. The market has had an extremely positive reaction to Ace Food products. Right now, you can find us in all chain stores in Nigeria, well positioned and visible enough. That's to tell you that the product is well accepted among the populace. When you see me, you get it. Share, you get my point. Through its introduction of complementary nutritious foods for toddlers, ACE aims to address the high rate of moderate and severe malnutrition among the under five population. I love ACE products. I started using soya milk for my baby after six months. And it's a very good product because it did not allow him to purge, so he was taking it, he enjoyed it. Since its inception, Ace Foods has trained over 13,000 farmers and is currently buying produce from over 5,000 farmers. These farmers have supplied over 800 metric tons of chili, ginger, soybean and maize. Key for us to drive future growth is three-pronged because one is closer collaboration with different large industrial uh, companies, two is uh, increased retail penetration in Nigeria and the third is international growth. Change doesn't just need to impact a whole country. It's about uplifting rural communities, creating a prosperous and enterprising rural Africa.